I think the season was successful in that uh, we're a great team. Uh, this season, I, I don't know if it's because I'm an upperclassman and I'm just used to the team, but I feel like the whole team to, as, as a whole is closer. We have freshmen hanging out with seniors, joking around. Um, I think the freshmen integrated into the team very well. Um, that I think this year has been the best that we've done that. Um, so as a team, I think we're the closest and I think we're the strongest. And I think that plays really well going into conferences because this is such a team effort. Um, the atmosphere at conferences is just wild. And since we have such a close team this year, um, everyone will be so committed and so um, just like wild when it comes to like every event on the track and every event in the field. I think we need to get the points. We need to get our points where, where we can get them. We're a very good team, um, but we're, we're lacking in depth. We have great talent uh, in every event that we compete in, um, but we need to score high in those because teams like Southern Connecticut have numbers. So um, just on the track, we usually dominate the track. Um, that's one of our strongest and we take pride in that. Um, but we also have great throwers and jumpers. We just don't, don't have that many of them. Um, like Jordan Sullivan, he's a great high jumper, but he's our only high jumper. So um, he can compete really well in that event, but um, we just need him to get those points to make up for the fact that we don't have that many, that many numbers. Um, and then just like going into the throws, we have Stefan in the weight throw. He's the only weight, uh, uh, only athlete throwing weight, but he's going to place high and we expect him to place uh, at least in the top three. And then we have the great addition of X who adds some depth in the shot. Uh, X and Darren are two and four. So uh, I think we really just need to take, care, uh, take the points where we can get them on the track and then um, also hold our own in the field and have our great athletes on the field events score those points as well. We've been competing every single year. Um, last winter was a disappointing uh, season for us. At con well, dif disappointing me at conference for us because we didn't um, we didn't compete very well. We got fourth, I think, and we want we wanted second and would be like all right if with third if we gave it our all, but we really didn't compete that well last year uh, indoors. So I think since then. Um, outdoors and then going into this year we've had like that fire under our butt and uh, that's like allowed us to like think back to the feeling that we had last year and not let that happen again and uh, a big difference in that is just like getting closer as a team as I mentioned before the freshmen hanging out with the seniors um, I think that's great um, because when that uh, like atmosphere happens um, you're competing for your friends so like as long as you're doing it um, for not just yourself, you're competing really hard and that doesn't matter like what place you get, um, you just know that like you had a really good meet. So last um, outdoor, we got third place and we lost, we missed second place uh, to Franklin Pierce by like one and a half points. Um, but we knew that we gave like everything we had and we were okay with that because um, we couldn't really look at any performance and say I could get a point there because uh, we just knew that everyone gave everything they had. So um, going into this meet, we're going to have that same mindset of giving everything and not letting up any points. Karen, she speaks her mind um, and at this point in the season, she's fired up. So um, that energy that she's bringing to the practice um, that started like a few weeks ago, it, like leading up to conferences, uh, she just gets more and more excited. Um, and that energy is contagious so everyone else has been uh, just getting hyped up and uh, it's going to be crazy and it's great energy rolling into conferences. Going into the championship, um, needless to say that's what we've talked about since we started preseason uh, October for the guys that weren't running cross country. Um, last year on the indoor championships I, I, I think it would be safe to say our guys were extremely disappointed. Um, I don't think they um, I don't know. I don't think they competed as hard as they possibly could have. I think there was a different intensity this year. Um, we'd like to be top three. I, I, I'm realistic enough to know that we have events that aren't as strong as some people's events. Um, but I'm also very well aware of the talent that we have on the team. 
Um, one of the things that we have been focusing on for the most part is uh, the entire season is about them and their personal best. Um, and uh, lately I've been trying to tell them as much as they were willing to hear that it's not necessarily how great your personal best is, it's how many times you're capable of doing your best. Um, and uh, I think that's what makes our team stand out is the culture that we have and that we're constantly aware of. Um, we have kids on the team that, you know, we really put a lot of the stress of the championship on their shoulders, um, but we don't want anybody on the team that's not willing to help carry the team along. So it's an exciting meet. Um, the men's field is stacked. I don't know how many NCAA provisional qualifiers are in each field. I don't think anything's going to be won easily. Back in the day, there were some events that basically, if you were pretty good, you could win. Um, now, if you're very good, you might place. Um, so it will be really exciting. It will be a nail biter. I think it's great to have the two day meet. We have a lot of events on Saturday night, and I think the energy in the building will be really high. Um, so I think top three would be anything less than that would be failure for us. I think. Um, you know, when you look at the field events, uh, Stefan Balestra is, is really on a high right now. Um, I'm hoping that he can carry that through if he just does what, he, what comes naturally to him. Uh, he'll be fine. Um, Steve Burke has had an amazing season, you know, 151 point, I think 151.24 or something. He is in the 800 meters, so he's starting the season off where he left off last year. Um, we expect big things from him, and he's a gamer. He, he is probably the least, one of the least selfish, well, I think we have quite a few not selfish people, but he is somebody that literally competes hard for the team. Um, Lucas Taxter who comes to mind. Um, you know, he went into this season with a personal best in the mile of 417. He's run 409. He anchored our relay in 407. Um, he doesn't care about the X's and O's whatsoever. He just wants to beat people, and it's a great attitude. He's, he's, he's a great contributor to the team. Joe Conley, very talented, and Justin Ireland, the sprints. Um, you know, we expect a lot of them. And, um, but again, if everybody does their best, that's the, that's the best you can expect. There's, there's so many people that, that literally come to mind. Our 5,000 meter group is running great. Our men's distance medley relay in the top 10 in the country right now. Um, so there's a lot to be excited about, but it means nothing if you can't do it at the right time. So we're hoping that they do it at the right time.